Welcome to ISE's Equity Index Weekly Outlook, a weekly outlook on ISE and other industry indexes, hosted by Patrick Ceresna, a derivative market specialist and investment manager with extensive expertise in options in the broader derivative markets. ISE trades options on more than 15 proprietary sector indexes, as well as broad-based indexes and a variety of licensed benchmarks. ISE continually enhances its trading systems and develops new index options products to provide investors with the best marketplace and investment tools to trade smarter. Hello and welcome to the ISC Equity Index Outlook for November 21st, 2011. This is Patrick Sresna. As always, we start off a chart of the S&P 500 using that Spider Exchange Traded Fund symbol SPY. We've been, uh, over the last three weeks, been uh, relatively trying to remain bullish this market, suggesting that uh, so long as the support lines hold around this 121 to 123 area, uh, that we could end up just seeing one very big kind of flagging wedge formation lower before this market actually breaks out higher. And while we still cannot technically rule out the possibility that scenario occurring uh, we certainly are at a crucial moment from which the market is going to show its hand uh, if we um, break this 121 level on the downside and it ends up being uh, a break with some sort of substantial momentum one where we see uh, a single drop that breaks below that 118 level on the downside uh, we could see a cascading uh, wave of selling that would make uh, this a uh, blue zone uh, um, obsolete. Uh, we more or less uh, want to tread the waters very carefully and, and really so long as we remain uh, uh, at or above those zones we certainly want to leave the window open for the for that bullish breakout on the upside but we do have, want to be very cautious at this moment because if uh, if that support line gives out and, and real momentum selling comes in uh, we could very quickly find ourselves uh, trading uh, within weeks down at the low uh, at the uh, 108 to 111 on the downside. Next year, when we take a look at the ISC U.S. Regional Banks Index, which is symbol JLO, uh, we have a situation very similar to that of the S&P. So far, the bulls have done a very good job to hold that 19 support line uh, very well. But if the whole market was to begin selling early this week and we saw a break of that 19 level on the downside, it would open the window for regional banks to pull back uh, substantially, not only to 18, but probably to even retest their 17 lows. Uh, again, we want... We try we're trying to remain uh, open to the idea that these will all still have a bullish resolution to the upside, uh, but we are also uh, recognize, just like we were saying with the S&P, that oh, these are all at the edge of a cliff, and if the, any bad news catalyst really comes in early this week, uh, if it just creates a, a more selling pressure than the buyers can handle, we could uh, see things uh, uh, turn uh, relatively weak quickly. Next year, when we take a look at the ISC Syndex, which is a symbol SIN, the Syndex has uh, continued to consolidate around this 121 level, where all the lows have come in over the last month. Uh, again, uh, just like all the other markets, it's, uh, the consolidations have really run their course, and uh, and if they're going to bullishly break, they're going to have to come off of these levels. Really, at this juncture, uh, any uh, aggressive selling that comes in early this week that pushes the markets below these lows we could see the syndex very quickly uh, want to consolidate down to the lows around the 113, 115 area on the downside. Next year, when we take a look at the ISC Home Builders Index, which is symbol RUF, uh, the home builders uh, have continued to consolidate, uh, banging their head uh, in that overhead resistance around the 710 to 730 area, and uh, we were uh, we again uh, were identifying the relatively bullish price action that we've been seeing, but the bulls have not been able to exceed those highs. Again, we're at a situation where uh, if the support lines around the 680, uh, 670 area on the downside give out. Uh, uh, it would certainly open the window for home builders to consolidate all the way back down to the $6 area before the next major line of support. Next year, we're going to take a look at the ISC Natural Gas Index, which is symbol FUM. Uh, it's been bouncing its head um, on overhead resistance around that 121.23 area on the upside. At this juncture, uh, as as that con it continues to consolidate above those highs, as if the whole market again goes through any consolidation, it would be very natural for the Natural Gas Index to test that 106 to 108 level. But uh, if the whole market, in a broader sense, sells, particularly if driven by very strong U.S. dollar. Uh, 
uh, we could very quickly see that natural gas index uh, make a break that could see the 100 or even the 95 level on the downside within weeks. Finally, I want to take a look at that ISC Mini FTSE 100 index, which is symbol UKX, and the um, uh, the London market looks very similar to that of uh, even all the North American indices. And what I want to do is emphasize that in general, over the last two three weeks, we have tried to remain relatively optimistic and positive that the bulls would be able to emerge uh, on the upside of all of this and actually allow the market to rally into the uh, traditional year-end rally. Uh, and and while again we continue to want to see a bullish outcome to this market we are at a level where we have to um, um be aware of the risk associated if the whole market rolls over off of these levels and uh, the FTSE is no different uh, really at this 535 545 support line is the kind of levels where support should hold if uh, if the selling really accelerates in any way uh, below 535 on the downside it would really open the window for the FTSE to consolidate all the way to the lows of October which would very quickly um, uh, put a wet blanket on any uh, bulls rally that does been trying to uh, get underway. That was your ISC Equity Index Outlook. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For more information about Patrick Ceresna and to sign up for free index options trade alerts, visit www.optionsource.net. To learn more about ISE index options, visit us at www.ise.com slash indexoptions.